It's easy to create lower third titles using Motion 5. If you find this tutorial useful, check out our Final Cut Pro 10 training packages to Orlando, Florida. Use the keyboard shortcut Command- to zoom out from the canvas window until you see the edge of the visible picture area. Within the canvas window, click on the View pull-down menu and choose Safe Zones. At the top of the video timeline, click on the Bezier Pen tool. Use the Bezier tool to create a mask in the lower portion of the canvas area. Holding down the mouse button while you add points allows you to create Bezier curves. Double click on the last point to close the curve. Move over to the inspector window and click on the shape tab. Change the fill mode to gradient and select one of the presets. Soften your shape a bit by adjusting the feather slider. Move over to the Timeline window and click on the Text tool. Go ahead and type your text. Now move back over to the Inspector window and choose a preset for your text layer. Go ahead and reposition and change the size of your text object within the canvas. For an added effect, click on the Add Behavior button and choose a behavior from the list. In this example, I will choose Text Glow Flare In. OK, so now you can see my title object has a flare behavior. The last step is to animate the lower third. Navigate to the Layers window and click on the Group Layer. Click on the red Record button at the bottom of the Canvas window. Make sure the Playhead indicator is at the front of the timeline. Move over to the Canvas window and drag the Group Layer down and outside the Visible Picture area. Move the Playhead indicator forward a few frames and then drag the Group Layer back up. OK, that's it. Check it out. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro 10 or Motion 5 training class, visit GeniusDV.com.